Good afternoon, First Platt Junior School. It's me, Mr. Kemp, here with your Monday assembly. Um, and it's all about the word active. So being active, getting active, what is active? Um, and before we start today's assembly, just remember, it's a very, very cold week. Temperatures are really, really low. So if you are going out for your daily exercises, your daily walks, daily cycles, please wrap up warm, wear your hats, wear gloves, wear scarves, big coats, big jackets. You don't want to be getting cold outside. Um, so make sure you do wrap up warm and stay safe. So today's assembly about being active. I'm just gonna share screen with you now um, what active actually means. So you can see here on my screen, the word active is engaging or ready to engage in physical energetic pursuits. So although he was 70, he was still robust and active. And then the second little point, pursuing an occupation or activity at a particular place or in a particular way. So there are lots of things that define um, active and what we do to be active and to stay active. So the video I'm going to share with you now, it's all about children um, and children being active. So let's just watch this video. I'm going to watch it with you. And then at the end, we're going to go through the video, maybe ask you some questions. So pay attention, listen and watch carefully. Let's have a look. Healthy Living Series, Physical Activity for Young Children. What is the difference between exercise and physical activity? Exercise is a kind of physical activity. It is planned, sustained and also requires certain skills. On the other hand, physical activity refers to any bodily movement produced by our muscles that results in energy expenditure. It includes daily activities of different types and intensity levels. Physical activity has many benefits. It improves social skills, maintains good health and a healthy body weight, enhances movement and coordination, contributes to brain development and strengthens learning ability, promotes muscle and bone development, improves sleep quality. Staying active with your children can increase their amount of physical activity and foster a better parent-child relationship. How much physical activity do young children need every day? Young children aged 2 to 6 should accumulate at least 180 minutes of physical activity every day, which can be split into intervals. How can young children achieve the goal of engaging in physical activity for 180 minutes every day? Does watching TV or playing video games considered as a physical activity? No, these screen time activities are sedentary. Excessive screen time reduces the amount of physical activity and leads to obesity. It even affects children's development of bones, vision, motor skills and language ability. Having too much screen time not only makes it possible for children to imitate inappropriate behavior, but also affects their sleep as well as social and communication skills. Screen time recommendations. For children aged two to five, their total time spent watching TV and using computer, tablet computer, and smartphone should be limited to one hour every day. The screen time activity should be interactive and educative and be carried out under the guidance of parents. Active young children are healthier, happier, and can adapt to school life more easily. Let's sit less, move more, and play together.
There we go. So let's cancel that before that starts. Fantastic. Now that was our video about kids um, being active and how it helps in you know general life. So the first comment on the video was, what is the difference between exercise and physical activity? Well, actually, the exercise is a kind of activity that is planned, sustained and requires certain skills. So playing football or swimming, you need specific skills in order to do that exercise. Whereas physical activity refers to any bodily movement produced by our muscles that results in energy expenditure. So there were so many examples on the video. Um, I'll just go through a few, through, through a few of them. Um, there was walking, getting dressed, playing in the park, doing gardening, household chores, playing with toys, cycling, running, skipping, and ball games. So many different examples of physical activity. And I'm sure every day you will do one or two of these activities, whether you think you're doing it or not. So walking up the stairs in your house um, or walking outside in the garden, that's still physical activity, which is very, very good for you. And that leads me to the next point of what are the benefits of physical activity? So in the video, you know, the benefits of physical activity, it improves social skills maintains good health and a healthy body weight, enhances movement and coordination, contributes to brain development and strengthens learning ability, promotes muscle and bone development, improves sleep quality too. And, a, and an important one there for me, it con contributes to brain development and strengthens learning ability. So the more physical activity we do, the more engaged we're going to be at school, developing our brains, learning a bit more and understanding what we're actually learning. Um, and of course, the improving the sleep quality. Who doesn't like to sleep? I know Mr. Kemp loves at least eight hours sleep a night because it is very, very good to recharge and refuel your body ready for the next day. So question to you, and I'm going to give you about 10 seconds to think about this. In the video, it showed us um, from ages two to six, how much activity they should have every day. And it was 180 minutes, which is three hours. But my question to you is, if you're aged seven to 17, what is the appropriate amount of activity you should have daily? 10 seconds, have a think. Okay, time's up. So the aged... Um, children aged between 7 to 17 is actually 60 minutes. So it's less, obviously, than the younger children. Um, and, you know, one hour of activity, you might think that's not a lot. You might think it is a lot. You know, everyone has a different view and opinion. But from the age of seven, so year three, that's you. I mean, all the way to age 17, um, you still need to do or should participate in 60 minutes of activity a day. So think about break time and lunch time. That's part of your 60 minutes of physical activity a day. PE sessions with me and Mrs. Winter each week. Your fitness sessions with your teachers. All of these things add up to your 60 minutes of daily physical activity you should be getting. Um, and then the last, uh, last couple of points, does watching TV or playing video games consider as a physical activity? The answer is obviously no, a big no with exclamation points on my notes. Um, excess, excessive screen time reduces the amount of physical activity because we're not doing anything, we're just sitting still. It affects children's development of bones, vision, motor skills, and language ability. It makes children imitate inappropriate behavior and can also affect sleep as well as social and communication skills. So the imitation of inappropriate behavior on the video, there was a girl eating chicken wings and pizza. If we kept eating chicken wings and pizza and nothing else, no fruit, no veg, um, you know, and healthy snacks for the rest of our lives, then that's not going to be good for us. Um, and also, I think it was the young boy with um, some kind of sword in his hand. Um, you know, we don't want to imitate things that happen on our screens. We should be learning and being educated by the on-screen time that we have, which I thought was an, also a very important point. Anything we do um, on iPads, laptops, you know, in school especially, it's all educational. And 
it's important to remember that fact. We don't just want to go on an iPad um, and go on YouTube and sit there and not really do much because, you know, as children, especially growing up, you need as much physical activity for your body uh, development and growth development and bone development. All these things are so important and they all link with physical activity. Don't get me wrong. A few, um, you know, an hour a day of video games or socializing online with friends, as long as it's safe, is absolutely fine because we all like to do that. You know, I'm a FIFA person. I like to play FIFA sometimes. Um, and that's not a bad thing. As long as I'm not playing it for seven hours a day, that would be a bit too much. Um, and the last point of, of the video, which I thought was a brilliant little message, is active young children tend to be healthier, happier, and can adapt to school life more easily, which is really, really important. The more we are being active, the more physical activity we're doing, obviously we become healthier, that's natural. We become happier, so happier within ourselves. Um, and can adapt to school life easily, which means we're going to be in school, we're going to enjoy um, coming into school and learning about different things each day. Um, and their little slogan was, let's sit less, move more and play together, which is a nice catchy slogan there. They're just saying, rather than sitting down, let's get up, let's move around more and let's be more engaged with one another um, doing any physical activity that you think. Um, so that's pretty much it on the, on the assembly about being active. I know that, you know, all of you will go out for your walk. Some of you will, might do some gardening. You might go for your bike rides. Keep up the good work. Please keep being active. Try and be active for 60 minutes a day, um, which I think is very, very doable and more than capable for all of you that are at home. Um, and of course, for those of you that in, are in school, Keep coming on the online Zoom sessions, keep doing the virtual challenges. All of these things add up to your physical activity um, and, you know, your 60 minutes that you should be doing every day. Before we finish, just a couple of uh, messages from me. The first one is the virtual school games. Well done to everyone last week for completing uh, challenge one, which was the jumps, snowboarding jumps. The, all the people on the morning sessions did it. Lots of you in school sent me scores as well, which is fantastic. There are two more challenges. Don't forget to check your Seesaw pages in your uh, on your class page or on your year group page, because there are two more challenges to complete. If you complete all three, I can send all your results off, um, which is great numbers for first class participation. And lastly, as I said at the start of the assembly this morning, this morning, this afternoon, um, stay safe, stay warm, stay wrapped up um, whenever you're going out because it is going to be a very, very cold week. Have a fantastic week. Uh, Monday's nearly finished and I hope um, that you just have a brilliant week. Bye.